So here in Final Cut Pro 10, I want to talk about the default image duration when we import images into Final Cut Pro 10. Now, when we go to File and Import and Media, then images that we import, and I've got a few listed in here, will import at the default of 10 seconds until you change that duration. So that means that when we highlight a clip here and drag it down to the timeline, it's going to run for 10 seconds. Now, when we're on the timeline, if we zoom out, we can extend that clip out beyond the 10 seconds. So we can keep going and the image duration will extend out um, to that particular point in time. Now, obviously, being able to bring in clips at different durations is handy. Unfortunately, we can't extend the default duration beyond that 10 seconds. If we go to Final Cut Pro and Preferences, then you can see here under the Editing Options in the Preferences, the still image duration can be set to 10 seconds, but no higher. So we can set it to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And also if we're doing things like stop frame, we can make the duration less than one second um, as we stitch together our images. So I'm going to jump this back to the default 10 seconds. And there's a couple of different ways of, of dealing with this. So when we bring multiple clips down to the timeline, if they're next to one another, we can highlight those clips, highlighting them all at the same time, and then doing Control and D, we can change the duration of those different clips all in one go. So at the moment, the duration of these three clips lined up is 30 seconds. I could change that to one, type in period, period, or full stop, full stop. And if we hit enter, then it's going to change the duration of each of those to one minute. So now we have three minutes of clip on our timeline. Now I've gone into a bit more depth in another tutorial that goes through how we can modify multiple clips, but I just want to focus really on modifying the duration of clips here. So if we have one clip here that is in the middle and we want to make that longer or shorter, then we can highlight it and do Control and D. And then the nice thing here in Final Cut Pro is that when we make that speed change, so if I change this to 20 seconds, so 20 period or 20 full stop, so I tapped Control and D to bring up the time code in the middle here, which runs in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Hit enter, and then you can see we've shot on that clip and the magnetic timeline ripples our change back through. If we want to finish our clip at a particular point down the timeline, we can grab the end clip here, move to a certain point in our timeline, and so we'll bring it carefully to 1.55. Okay, and then we can use the extend edit shortcut here, which is shift and X, which will extend the edit to that particular point in the timeline. So we've got some nice control over the duration of our clips and being able to change the duration once they're on the timeline. But the default for the clips is 10 seconds at the longest down to 0.1 seconds. So again, we can come to 30 seconds here. I'm just using the left hand cursor to shorten that and then shift and X and it will shorten the, the clip to the playhead, which is a really useful way of editing your clips. So highlighting clips and then either, so either highlighting the clip here and then doing Control D, which is effectively the same as going to modify change duration, which brings us to the, the middle here. And then we can type in, in seconds and frames, the duration that we want for our clip or minutes, seconds and frames the duration we want for our clip. So once we've got our clip selected, Control and D allows us to change those clip lengths, anything from one frame. So if we just type in one, it's gonna change it to one frame long. So tiny or Control and D again to let's say 15 period period or 15 full stop, full stop, hit enter. And now we've got a 15 minute image on our timeline. So I hope that's helpful when you're working with images in Final Cut Pro 10. As I said, I've done another video on this that covers some more stuff in depth in terms of changing the duration of multiple clips on the timeline that you might want to search for and watch. Um, but I hope this has been useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.